What's up YouTube? I got a good video for you guys today. So my TBS Caprinha uses a two cell battery. And my video transmitter runs on 12 volts. Now those of you who are math friendly know that two cells fully charged is 8.4 volts. And this takes 12 volts. So to the amateur in RC, you're obviously saying to me right now, oh, dude, well, you bought the wrong parts. There's no way it's going to work. But you'd be totally straight up wrong because there is something that you can do that's very, very easy. You can get this device. Now, this device is a switching voltage regulator. This one I've got is the X12 Pro UBEC. It's a 12-volt output at 4.5 amps that I got from Hobby King. I'll give a pause so you guys can boo. Nah, just messing with you. But uh, it's actually a pretty decent design. So you'll notice on the top here, it's got this huge input capacitor. I mean, this thing is really massive. It's like a thousand microfarads, uh, which is gonna be great for filtering any AC out of the output. Um, these regulators are they tend to be noisy. No energy transfer is 100% efficient. None of these circuits are perfect, so there tends to be a little bit of AC left over. Uh, so there's a big cap to help out with that. And these are awesome. I like ferrites. I'm a huge fan of ferrites. They do a great help with filtering. I am going to stick on another ferrite because I'm crazy to get a little more filtering. And I'm going to modify this so that it doesn't spread any radio interference to my video transmission or control reception equipment. So I'll show you guys how I did that. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I did. I, uh, I removed the tiny ferrite and added one twice its size. This one was little weak link and I removed it so we get a little bit better filtration there. And I also covered the, um, uh, voltage regulator in copper foil because now it's totally blinged out. No, not really. Mostly because this blocks any electromagnetic interference um, because I have a receiver on the plane that's going to be straining to hear over my transmitter. And imagine, imagine the situation. Your transmitter's connected, right? And this is spewing 400 milliwatts your spread spectrum radio is 10 milliwatts. This is 400. This is 40 times the volume of your spread spectrum radium, radio at the transmitter. Once the signal gets out to your plane, it's considerably weaker. Trying to pick up a signal on your spectrum radio with this blaring is a lot like sitting across from someone in a restaurant, trying to hear them whisper while everyone else is screaming at the top of their lungs. So any other noise that we can isolate uh, is going to provide better quality video transmission and better uh, range on our spectrum radio. Plus, honestly, this is like 10 cents of copper tape. There's no such thing as shielding that is too good uh, unless it's doing stuff like adding huge amounts of weight to your plane, but this is probably about a quarter of a gram of copper, so it's really not that significant. So that's basically it, guys. As soon as I get uh, video three, part three of the Caprinha build posted, I will show you exactly how this stuff goes in to the plane, but until then, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe.